Welcome to Mimi Podcast. Glistening snow dust that I jumped, my heart skipping a beat. It is true that in the past, I used to sit near the window, concentrating on studying, regardless of who and what was worth listening to in the rows of seats around me. I take this bus almost every night, but I didn't notice that there was a pretty girl like Cherry in the bus. It turned out that we had passed each other for a long time and tonight we stopped to rest and say hello to each other. Luckily there were no passengers in the way tonight. Cherry looked me straight in the eye and smiled. You really are a bookworm. I shyly bowed my head, my heart pounding in my chest. The bus had not yet arrived, Cherry told the driver to stop. Before I could react, she pulled my hand down. We walk on the sidewalk. The street is so deserted. The houses were all closed. The lights are also off, only the overhead neon lights glow throughout the alleys. Cherry smiled brightly and said, Aren't you bored? Youth is not all about learning. I scratched my head. I have no other choice. If I was in fifth place, my dad would have a ton of reasons to nag me all day long. Cherry's eyes widened. Your father is strict. What about you? Looking at you, you seem to love life. Nothing seems to bother you. If I don't laugh, I will fall. I like to sing. I really like it. I told my parents that I won't go to school anymore. I will take vocal lessons at the center instead. You know, my mom called me crazy. But I won't change my decision. I believe I chose the right path even though I still haven't released any MV until now. I like Cherry's bubbly, passionate personality, her defiance of everything to pursue her dreams. I look back at myself. Aside from books, I'm hardly passionate about anything. Study hard and then lose your job. If you do business, you only need to know the math of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Why do you need to learn integrals or derivatives? Every time I think about it, my head feels like it's going to explode. Maybe it's because you and I are different, you're lively, and I'm quiet. Cherry stood in front of me smiling slyly. So do you want me to show you the crazy way? If you can chase me, I'll help you. Cherry started running. I was dumbfounded for a moment before I understood what she just said and quickly ran after her. I can't keep up with Cherry. Halfway through... I stopped, hands on my knees, gasping for breath. Cherry came back, propped up on her hips. Did you study to the point of stagnation of health? We sat down in the middle of the road. There wasn't a single car passing by, so we were free to spread our arms and legs wide. The wind made her coat flap fly. I felt like snow dust was also flying up. 
Cherry looked up at the shimmering starlight and lowered her voice.